In this house near a village in southern Spain live some good friends of mine by the name of Sanchez. This morning, Senor Sanchez and his son Juan are starting a trip, taking a load of grain to the market in a city some distance away. Senora Sanchez and Luisa are waving goodbye. The journey to the city and back will take all day. Juan and his father drive along the country road that goes through the farms nearby. They see farmers with their teams of oxen plowing the land. This is the way we in Spain have plowed our land for hundreds of years. As Juan comes into the village, he sees his friend Alfonso delivering the morning milk. Alfonso takes his herd of milk goats from house to house. A pitcher of goat's milk for the lady. Now Juan and his father reach the plaza in the center of the village. Here is the fountain. The village fountain is very important to us. The women of the village come here to get the water they need for their homes. Juan wants some water too. The jug he uses we call a botijo. Botijos are made of clay and will keep the water cool all day. Not far from the fountain, a group of boys are playing a game of bullfight. This is a favorite game for our Spanish children. The bull charges, the torero steps aside. Now, what will happen? The torero holds his wooden sword ready. Now the bull goes down. But Juan cannot stay longer. He has many things to do today. He and his father must be on their way to the city. And they still have a long way to travel. The road that leads from the village to the city goes past a grove of olive trees. Pickers are gathering up the olives. These olives are being picked while they're still green. These men knock the olives from the branches of each tree. The olives fall to the ground. Then it is easy to pick them up and put them in baskets. Olives are very important to us. We use many people to pick them. Children help with this work too. Along the way, Juan and his father meet other travelers. Vayan con Dios, God go with you, the travelers call to each other. Now Juan and his father are coming into the city. Here they see many new sights. This man is selling fish. He carries them from house to house. The city is on the sea coast and fresh fish are brought in every day. The housewife finds the one she wants and then the fish seller is on his way again. By now Juan and his father are getting close to the busy market. Here they will make their first stop. This car is piled high with fresh vegetables. Senor Sanchez finds a place for the cart. He has other errands in the city, but first he wants to sell the grain. There are many men at the market buying and selling. This man has oranges for sale. One knows that the burro is hungry after the long trip and it is his job to feed him.
Now Juan has some errands of his own. But here is a new truck that has just come across the sea from America in a ship. Juan likes trucks. He hopes to have one himself someday. The friendly driver lets him try the wheel. Juan thinks this would be much better than driving a burro. But he can't spend too much time here. He has to do some shopping, some very special shopping. Today is Sister Luisa's birthday and Juan wants to buy her a present. I wonder what Luisa would like, thinks Juan as he walks along the street. Well, let's see what they have in this store. Juan knows he can't spend very much money. A doll might be nice, and both of these are pretty. So is this one, but Luisa has a pretty doll. Let's see. Maybe she'd like a pair of castanets. Luisa dances very well, and it would be nice if she could play castanets when she dances. Yes, one decides. This pair looks good. So he asks how much they are. Cuanto valen? Cinco pesetas. Muy caro. Five pesetas is too much, says Juan. For you, three pesetas, says the clerk. So Juan has a birthday present for Luisa. And soon, he is on his way home with father. Meanwhile, let's see what is going on at the Sanchez home. Just now, Luisa is working on a piece of lace. Luisa is making this piece of lace to trim her best dress. Her fingers work quickly with the thread, under and over under and over. Luisa's mother taught her how to make lace, and she knows the pattern by heart. In the kitchen, Senora Sanchez is making a kind of Spanish soup called gazpacho. These graves are hanging up to dry to make raisins. The gazpacho will make a tasty dish for Juan and his father. And here are the hungry travelers now, back from the city. Luisa is glad Juan and father are home again. All day she has looked forward for this, for today is her birthday. And tonight the evening meal is a birthday party for Luisa. Father, of course, is very proud of his little daughter. Juan is thinking of the birthday present he has for Luisa, the castanets he bought in town. Perhaps Luisa is wondering whether Juan has a present for her. The meal is almost over. This is just the time Juan has been waiting for. It's time to give Luisa her present. Luisa seems to like the castanets very much. They're just what she wanted. And she knows how to use them too. It's a good time for Luisa to dance. Father will play his guitar for her. Let's watch the dance and listen to the music. Sanchez family are having a good time on Luisa's birthday in their home near a village 
of southern Spain.